Are you decking out your family tree with new genealogy finds this holiday season? No? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that and give your genealogy a boost over the holiday season. Hey there, if we haven't met before, I am Lisa with Are You My Cousin? And this YouTube channel is designed to help you find your ancestors, grow that family tree, but not be overwhelmed in the process. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you're in the right place. Okay, so the holidays are upon us. We are shopping. We are baking. We are doing all the things that we need to do during the holiday season so that we can enjoy our day with our family and friends coming up. But despite the busyness of the holiday season, really, December is a fantastic time to research your genealogy and your family history. You surprised? Well, I was too initially, but it makes sense when you think about it because religious holidays such as Christmas create their own records. And those records are available for us to research as genealogy researchers. They might be a little tougher to find, but that's okay, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so let's talk holiday traditions and why. Well, because holidays create traditions, therefore traditions create records. And guys, it's these records that document our ancestors' holidays, the way they celebrated holidays, whatever faith they may have been of, these create records that we can then go and research. And we are remiss in our research and we're going to miss out on important clues to find our ancestors if we're not looking at these types of records. So that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about um, as we go forward here. Now, what am I talking about when it comes to records or types of traditions? When it comes to communities, when it comes to holidays, families, communities all have their own traditions. And oftentimes they are faith-based. And in this case, it might be a faith-based. So we have a, you know, it might be based around church traditions. It might be based around community traditions, such as volunteer experiences, such as the town Christmas party or the town community parade that they, that people can participate in. All of these are documented in various locations. And it might just be, guys, we certainly have our own personal family family traditions as well. And again, these actually can create family records within our families. And so uh, let me show you what I mean with that. So when we're talking about churches so and faith, we do need to remember that regardless of our own personal faith, whatever faith our ancestor was, if that was important to them, it is important to our genealogy research. Now, as I'm recording this, we are coming up on the Christmas holidays here in December. So that's the reference I'm going to be using. However, recognize that whatever faith, whatever holiday that your ancestors may have been participating in, these principles still apply. Now, obviously, when it comes to church, church newsletters, church pageants, these are amazing sources for information that we might often overlook. So around the holidays, certainly around the Christmas holidays, Christian churches have oftentimes children's programs. They do special choir programs. They might do special um, service projects that are out there. And all of these types of things can be documented and create records. So certainly the church newsletter is going to be announcing what's coming up. Oftentimes these will have um, listings of all the children who participated in the choir, the children's choir program or the large Christmas pageant that might have been placed on. It could be in the church newsletter. It could be in a church, uh, the, the program, the actual program or bulletin for that particular service. It could even be in a church periodical, such as a newspaper um, that, that is put out by the denomination or the church, the larger church organization itself. These all have ways, uh, it's or ways for us to actually place our ancestor in time and certainly a location because if we find them participating in a particular church organization and participating in a pageant well likely they lived fairly close by or within you know a reasonable distance for that we're going to oftentimes find photographs we might find multiple generations within a church program a church newsletter it gives us an opportunity to really dive into those records and certainly the special programs that were put out would have that as well. So we wanna make sure that we are looking for those records and using those records. Now, here is a tip, guys. Check with the church historian. If you have identified the church that your ancestors were part of, and, and if that church is still ongoing today, reach out and check who is the church historian. That is the person you want to talk to. Guys, this does not have to be a large church to have a church historian. 
oftentimes very small churches will have that person. And maybe it's not even a formal title. Maybe it's that person who records the history simply because they're interested or wants to make sure that they preserve the heritage of that church. Ask who's the church historian, who is the recorder of the history, who keeps those types of records. And you want to talk with that person. They know they know the history of that church. They know where the, the records are. They know where the, if, if records were kept, they would know where, if they're photographs, they would have a lot of information that you would benefit you as well as not just your holiday records guys, but again, the church in general as well, if you, depending on how many generations your ancestor goes back. So it is worth the effort to reach out for that person. Oftentimes really to find that person. You just need to call the church, the church itself and talk with them there. Now, another thing that I would encourage you to do when it comes to researching your ancestors during this time period, during a holiday season, read the newspaper, okay? Read the newspaper. And you guys know, again, this is straight up family history, right? Or excuse me, straight up social history. You guys know you've got to understand what's happening in that community and what better place to find out than the newspaper because you're going to find out who was visiting whom. Um, you're going to find out um, maybe who's having family reunions. Oftentimes we'll have family reunions around that time period as well. During the holidays, you're going to find out if there's school events and you might find the write-up of the school events where they list out the children who participated. This is a fabulous way, guys. Sometimes you might pick up um, children that maybe you didn't know were part of the family previously or you find sibling groups that you weren't as aware of. So this is a great place to check it out. Um, what I would absolutely encourage you to do, though, when it comes to researching and reading in these newspapers is do the searches so you can do you can actually search by name, certainly and by location in you know the genealogy databases, the ancestries, the ancestry.com, the MyHeritage, Find My Past, Family Search, Genealogy Bank, Newspapers.com, all of these that you can actually search in. Absolutely. But I also would encourage you, if you know that area where your ancestor lived, if you know the newspaper that maybe it's a little bit smaller, more of a rural newspaper, I would actually just get the newspapers for around that holiday time period. And I would actually read the newspaper and get to know that community, get to understand what's important to that community, which churches are having the potlucks and which ones are having the Christmas pageants and what, what what are the school children doing and and looking at the advertisements and seeing you know what types of shops are there what types of um, businesses are advertising you might find some of your own ancestors who are advertising in those as well so I do think it is beneficial to our research this is not really necessarily fast but when you have some moment there's hop into one of the databases if you have 15 minutes you can read a newspaper and get start to get some ideas from that. All right, so there's that. Then there's one other thing that I wanted to share with you when it comes to holidays and finding genealogy records that can actually boost our genealogy research. And guys, that is actually going to be family photos. Now, I know we talk a lot about family photos and I know oftentimes we kind of feel like we've already found them and we have a lot of them. I personally have a huge collection that have eventually have made their way to me over the years. Many of them have Christmas and it's by working with those photos, treating them and analyzing them like a document, just like I would analyze a will. I analyze those photographs to find all the family history clues. But here's the deal, guys. There's still some more out there that I probably need. I would recommend that if you're preparing to go visit a family member, if you are preparing to go to a family luncheon, just simply put out there ahead of time, hey guys, I am looking for old family photographs. If you have any from your side of the family that you could bring and that we could share, have them do that. Ask, just ask people straight up because I think that's the piece that we forget. We get there and we're like, oh, shoot, I should have had them ask if anybody had pictures to bring. Well, likely they did. And so I would encourage you, just make a little plan as you're, as you're preparing your covered dish or whatever dish you might be taking or whatever presents you might be preparing to put in the car, put on your list of things to do or to take would be, ask for the old family photos and have people come and share them. I've done that a couple of times with a family reunion that we have. We have a family Christmas dinner every December. Um, for one side of my family, this has been going on for over 70 years. And I'm like, hey guys, bring me the family photos. I would love to see what you have, what you have. And it's been a really fabulous time and a really fun time to be able to see what other people had and get some more photographs. And of course, as you know, Photographs get people talking. So 
do that. Now, the photograph you're looking at up there, really, guys, that Santa Claus is actually my grandfather. That is not me as a child. I will say that. But is it any wonder I never wanted to sit on Santa Claus's lap because this is what I was seeing? <laughs> Just saying. Okay. When it comes to finding some of these more social history type of records that you might want to be interested in, I would encourage you to check out the vertical files at your local library. Now I have a blog post on that. I actually, I think I even have a video on that. I will link to that in the description below, but I want you to check out the vertical files. Again, this is a file cabinet typically at your lot, local library. That's usually where I like to look for these, but state libraries, archives can have these as well. It is a file cabinet, which has just a variety of information in it. Typically this is information that is important to the community. It has value to the community. Oftentimes I find things such as old geneal uh, genealogist old notes that might be there that didn't, that landed in there and were donated. I find things like church bulletins. I find those church programs. Remember what we talked about at the very beginning here? I want to find those to see who's in that church and who else besides my ancestors could be there. You can find um, school programs, school photographs. I've actually seen photographs in these vertical files. So there's a large variety of information that you can find here. And so I would encourage you after the holidays are over, after you've asked that family member for those family photographs, after you've kind of gotten into the records, go ahead and plan a trip over to the, um, the local archive or the local library and check out their vertical files to see what you might find there. Go ahead and put it on your calendar because the holiday season is busy. You might forget, go ahead and put it on your calendar so that whether you do it during, before or after the holidays, you can actually get over and see those records. All right, are you ready to start finding ancestors this, this holiday season? Great. If you need a little bit of help with your holiday shopping, be sure and check out my holiday gift guide video.